this city in California. And for any of you that need to go to an interesting place or want to see something that's worth your while, Fresno is definitely the city to go. Just so you guys know the location, Fresno is in California, pretty much in the Central Valley in between Los Angeles and Sacramento. It's a fine city, rich in tradition with its amazing agriculture and the worth ethic from the beautiful people that live there. All right, enough of the bullshit. If you guys like Mexican food, this place has some of the bomb fucking Mexican food you will ever have in your life, and I'm serious. Plus, we have a lot of good traditional Chinese restaurants. A lot of them are very cheap too. You can just find them anywhere around the city. And some good Mediterranean restaurants if you guys are into that stuff too. All right, so now that we talked about the food, we're gonna talk about traffic. Traffic is kind of here and there. Traffic's obviously gotten a lot worse over the years. The city's gotten a lot bigger, especially during any times of the week, rush hour, which is usually between anywhere from like three to five, sometimes three to six, depending on the area you're in. So it's not necessarily like wasting half of your life in a car like LA or San Francisco, but it's definitely not like a smaller town, like, you know, like Selma or the surrounding areas of Sanger, you know, it's not definitely a lot more busier than those cities. All right, so now we're gonna talk about chicks. Fresno has got some of the bombest, finest Latinas in the city for sure. Definitely got a mixture, it's a bit of a melting pot. We got a lot of mongs, you know, a lot of black girls, a lot of Indian girls, you know, white girls clearly, especially in Clovis. But um, honestly, man, like, they're all the same. Mexican chicks are wild though. They will suck the soul out of you. As far as drivers, we have some of the worst drivers in the state. You know what's crazy? I don't know if any of you guys have noticed, we have a lot of Dodge Challengers in the city. I don't know what the fuck it is, if it's like a sign of good wealth or good fortune, but if you ever see anybody driving a Dodge Challenger, Make sure to keep your distance on the road because if you're in Fresno and you're driving a Dodge Challenger, pretty much means you're a fucking douchebag. I know it sounds ignorant, but if you live in Fresno, you'll understand. Now, we do have a bit of a homeless problem here, but it's all how you look at it. I've actually made friends with some of them, and sometimes from time to time, I'll smoke a joint or, you know, drink some liquor with them. You gotta build up that immunity, especially during COVID. So in the end, it's just more people to make friends with. As far as people too, just in the general population, there's a lot of good, friendly, uh, down-to-earth people. You know, they're the kind of people or friends that'll be like, Hey, let me borrow your car keys and I'll let you fuck my sister, eh? Just a very cozy, family-oriented vibe. If you're not enticed to come move here yet, I don't know what else is gonna work. Now, I should probably mention the regions of the city. Now, the rule is if you go south of Shaw, it becomes kind of more of an underserved area, but there's a lot of warm and friendly people roaming the streets. Just walk up to anyone after 11 p.m. and strike up a friendly conversation with someone. Now, the more north you go towards River Park, it gets kind of more the ritzy, you know, lady carrying a pooch in her purse, can I see the manager kind of vibe. And west is more normal for the most part, especially near the zoo. There's a lot of friendly people roaming the streets at night. Now, East Fresno, like Kings Canyon and all that area is kind of a lot of auto shops, a lot of, you know, body shops, stuff like that. You know, a lot of people that race, I know, especially in that area. And um, going up to Clovis, I mean, you guys know how Clovis is. I don't even have to mention it, but it's fun. Fine, I'll talk about it. Clovis is a pretty nice town. It's kind of very similar to Fresno, except it's got more of the, we're the fucking champs kind of vibe. So with all of these things, what could possibly make you not want to move to Fresno? I mean, we do have a lot of STDs, but I mean, everyone's bored. I mean, everything's closed and what the hell else are we going to do? If you're born in Fresno, you're a horny fucking savage. We just, we have it in our DNA. I don't know what it is. I don't know what to tell you. I could go all day on this city, but bottom line is, it's a great place to raise a family, move here, visit. So, come see Fresno.